Isis in a bag. Half of Isis. Having a whale of a time with the affairs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello my loves, it's Tuesday night and the first night of a brand new Meals vlog. As always, I will link last week's up there right now, should you fancy going back and having a look. Because um, some folk do. <laughs> um, it, I've done a really random pasta dish tonight. Because I've still got, well I had, four tins of that mock tuna from Sainsbury's All right. in the uh, cupboard. <clears throat> And I thought, I'll use two of them with some extra virgin olive oil and some mayo and some spring onions, some olive and salt and pepper. I think this is a good way to use the mock tuna. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And then I boiled some pasta with some peas and some sweet corn. So it's a, it's like a veg. It's a, a, a vegan tuna veg pasta. Yeah. Do you want a taste, promise? Yeah, I'll try it. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, and mayo. I put a bit of mayo in the uh, in the mix as well. Hmm. And there's a, a nice lunch portion for Jason to take to work one day as well because I did quite a big pan. Is that all right? It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Needs a bit of pepper. For me. And me, a I didn't. Bit of pepper. I didn't put a lot in, so a bit of. Uh, I usually have a bit of salt as well. I don't think it needs salt. I'll mm. try it first. I will. <laughs> uh, I will. But I will have some black pepper on there and a couple of slices of bread and butter. What are you gonna do with that? Make pasta butties. Yeah! Yeah, we are! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Pasta dish. The first night of a brand new meals vlog. Just a load of stuff chucked in a pan, mixed together, makes a hearty, delicious meal, and now got it. Lovely. See you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Hi, loves. It's Wednesday evening, and this might be the most random meal. In a, of, in a while of, of the last couple of months yeah as uh, Isis in a bag half of Isis having a whale of a time with the affairs <laughs> <laughs> that's what she does in a bag right well then <laughs> um, so I bought these at the end of last year guys my mum loved them I got her a few boxes um but they're from last year, from Christmas. But I got them in, I think I got them in March when they were 99p a box. And they've been in the freezer ever since. I had two boxes and I said to Jason, I'm just going to do them tonight because this is our late night. It's quarter past nine, Jay teaches guitar. Um, so we've got two of them each. We've got the last of the um, Merchant Gourmet grains pack with cranberry and chestnuts so it's all kind of festive and just a little bit of green salad just green salad lightly dressed and one slice of bread <laughs> oh that looks right sad they're Sainsbury's aren't they from Sainsbury's these yeah 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 yeah, flaky puff style pastry topped with sweet potato and broccoli in a coconut sauce with cranberries it sounds alright. There's quite a bit going on there, isn't there? Yeah. There's no point in us doing a taste test on because we don't know if they'll be back this year and they're, just, they're literally from the bowels of the freezer. <laughs> um, yeah. That sounded wrong. Put myself off my dinner. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the you, basement. They're, got from, out. they're from the basement. The basement the of the yeah, freezer. Freezer, freezer even. So there you go. Two of them. A bit of that. And some of that. Dinner on Wednesday evening. Isis. Isis. Every evening. Hi. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Thursday night. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, well, we finished work, but um, one of the people I support is going through radiotherapy at the moment for a month. So I'm going to be supporting him on the Fridays, just for a few hours, but it does mean I'm working Fridays. However, still means to get a lie in it morning. So that's good. Uh, yeah, a, a random one tonight. We didn't know what we fancied. So I've, I, I never normally do this. Yeah, what I've, is this part? I've cut a block of tofu into slabs and fried them with just a bit of salt, nothing more. Okay. I've made a really thick peanut satay sauce. So it's spicy. Have a taste. I will. Bromers of the, of the sauce and see what you think. Spicy, creamy, nutty, salty. Oh, 
and tangy because it's got lemon juice in it and no limes. Sticky, spicy, <laughs> nutty goodness. <laughs> That's gorgeous. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, fried tofu slices with a very, very, very thick, as you just saw, peanut satay sauce. Beautiful. Edamame and spring onion and brown rice. Oh, and a paratha. Just keep focusing on the bread for a minute. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm northern. Oh. <laughs> uh, so there you go. There's Thursday night's dinner. Fried tofu slabs with a homemade peanut satay sauce. It's basically like a few tablespoons of peanut butter, a good squeeze of tomato puree, a chilli, a bit of water, a bit of milk. Yeah, a bit of cocoa milk, um, some lemon juice and some salt. Delightful. And there you go, Thursday night's dinner. I did an almond satay sauce on a live one Sunday afternoon and said I'd do a short video. I never did. I will. I promise. <laughs> but I'll link the live up there if you fancy it because it was a little cracker and the almond satay was stunning, mm. inspired by the allotment vegan eatery in Manchester. I tried to uh, copy them. Worked. <laughs> Thursday night's dinner. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's uh, Friday evening. Bit confused because I've worked for a few hours today. Um. So yay, yay, yay. Because now we're both off for the weekend. Yay. Um. So this is, for all intents and purposes, scordalia and chicken paprikash. I'll tell you the story. So I had half a lemon left in the fridge because uh, I, I used half a lemon juice in the uh, satay sauce last night. Uh, just in case we haven't put it up in text, by the way, that tofu satay and rice meal last night was outstanding. It was outstanding. It yeah. was gorgeous. So I had half a lemon left. Anyway, while I'm at my last person that I support on a Thursday, he had Rick Stein on telly and Rick Stein was in Corfu. And he showed this lady making this scordalia, which is uh, garlic, mashed, cooked mashed, crushed potatoes, but like really creamed. She did it all in a pestle and mortar and then added lemon juice and um, creamed garlic. So I've done it differently. I've just made mash. I've minced some garlic, you know, crushed some garlic, mixed it with lemon juice and olive oil, and then put that into the potato. And this is a full bag of Iceland chicken style pieces, fried up, and then two red onions added, one big tomato cut into big wedges, and a big handful of spinach, and a load of paprika. So it's kind of like a chicken paprikash. And I would like you, Mr. Bromley, to taste both elements. Fabulous. <laughs> I will start with the mash, I think. Yeah, the scordalia. As it's called. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? That is beautiful, yeah. That is really nice. Very, very garlicky, isn't it? With just a hint of lemon. Mmm. It works really well. I know. And you know me, I'm not a massive it's, lemony person. They don't know what they're doing in car food, they're not daft. And uh, and then this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just been, it's basically a bit of salt and a load of hot paprika. Um, and as I said, tomato, spinach, red onion and olive. Sorry, I forgot to mention the olive. Mm. That tin of olives you got, Adam. Chopped half of it in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Those flavours are banging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. There you go, my loves. Mm. Scordalia and a kind of sort of chicken paprikash. Love that. We're in the mood for cooking today and I'm right glad I have. <laughs> <Me> <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Saturday. And if you uh, have been keeping your eye on the channel, you will have seen that earlier today, a little mini vlog went up from Sainsbury's. Um and I um, kind of mentioned that we'd be having this meal tonight with Sainsbury's own very, very posh garlic bread <laughs> and the last of the tin of olives from uh, Adam. Cheers, Adam. Oh, oh God, the gorgeous. Um, so it's soya meat. It, I, I don't normally do a kind of bolognese style. No, I know. Do I? Uh, but it's soya mints fried with 
some tomato oil that's been in the fridge for over a year. I just thought I'd mention that. I air dried the tomatoes and then put them in oil and then put them in the fridge and it kind of, the oil went solid obviously. And because we've had a clean out of the fridge, I blitzed it in the Nutribullet and that's what I've cooked the mince in along with some um, some peas and some uh, fresh tomatoes and tomato puree and so on, a bit of cheese on top and some rocket. Do you want to have a Do you want to have a taste, promise? I think I will. I think I do, and I will. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, You're not gonna mix it. You're I'm just not gonna, gonna mix it. I'm just gonna. You're just gonna taste that. Some dried basil in there as well, of course. Mmm. Mmm. Rich. Some might say opulent. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Well, Smathered all over my spaghetti in a minute. That's going to be great. But why don't you do a little bit of shitting? I'll do it. I'll do a little mini one. I, I don't know where to start with it. It's the shitting of the pasta. <laughs> it's partially shitted. <laughs> there we go. See, now that looks more appetising now. Yeah. To me. So there you go. Pasta, garlic bread, olives. Can't go wrong. Cruelty free, of course. All of it. Bye, loves! Hello, my loves. It's a Sunday evening and we've gone for a chip shop style dinner yeah. again. Um, Jason spotted these today in Tesco and uh, got a packet for us to try. I said, oh, we'll have one tonight. Three fitter. Because we've not had oven chips for a while. So this is there. And of course, we're going to try one for you. Yes, and they are plant-based shrimp-flavoured bites made with tapioca starch and konjac coated in crispy breadcrumbs. Excuse the pee. Shall we? Should we dive yes. in? Yes. Cheers. Mmm. We haven't put any salt or vinegar or anything on yet, so they're very bland. The crispy cotton is very nice. Yeah, it's nice. The innards don't really taste of anything. No, no, no. Very bland. Luckily, I've made a huge pot of homemade tartar sauce. Mayo, English mustard, chopped gherkin, caper berries, chunky, chunky McGunky. Yeah. I mean, that obviously helped, but I'm, yes. I'm surprised at that, because Tesco's the, is normally pretty good. The salt, well, it's not Tesco's, Well, I know, it? but it's, it's in Tesco's stores, isn't it? They have to approve it. Yeah. I suppose it's for the textural element for the people that have really missed scampi. Yeah. Oh, and a tin of mush, uh, oven chips, of course, and a tin of mushy peas mixed with some frozen peas. Because um, we do like our peas and the pack with protein. It's a classic and on nutrients. this channel, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and not bad on the nutrients there either because it's, you know, green and amber mm -hmm. rather than red. Yeah. So, if you like a scampi, um, maybe give it a try. Uh, I think once it's got some salt and vinegar on it, it'll be fine. So, there you go. That is, go for the wide shot, our Sunday night dinner. Not scampi, chips, peas and tartar sauce with a couple of slices of bread and butter. Lovely. Bye, loves. It's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests. Hello, you lovely person. This is what I have for my lunchtime test test today. It is the Zizi vegan lentil ragu spaghetti in a rich tomato and lentil sauce. £3.50 from uh, the big Tesco near us. Um, some of you may remember I have tried the ZZ lasagna before and was mightily impressed with it. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit of a longer cook. Cook from frozen. Eight minutes, I think it is. Here's the nutritional information there. So, not too bad. I mean, the salt is a, perhaps a tiny bit high. But, yeah, not too bad. Let's... Uh, Let's have a look at the back. <clears throat> in our restaurants or at home, we like things a bit different at ZZ because what's a world without a few twists? So yeah, there's uh, everything that you need to know on the back there. 
a vegan take on the family favourite spaghetti tossed in a rich herby tomato and garlic sauce full of hearty lentils, satisfying and wholesome, perfect for a pasta moment. See what they did there. Nice. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to get this in the microwave, get it nuked, and as always, I will give you my honest and humble opinion. And this is it, fresh out of the microwave. Let's dive in and give it the taste test. Okay. So, I'm going to dive straight in. Left it the allotted minute for it to cool down a little bit. Smells lovely, it's got to be said. This could get a little bit messy. I'm not the best when it comes to uh, spaghetti and noodles. So, okay, that's not too bad. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Nice, rich sauce. The lentils are lovely. The texture of the spaghetti is delightful, considering cooked from frozen in the microwave, nuked. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's top notch. That's top notch for a frozen meal. £3.50. I'm not surprised to be honest. It's up there. Just as good a quality as the um, ZZ lasagna, rainbow lasagna. If you can get either of them in your local Tesco, highly recommend. Um, I'm going to stuff the rest of this in my face. Short and sweet today, I'm not going to waffle on. Um, it's getting a 9 out of 10. Flavour, texture. I'm always really pleasantly surprised when something is cooked from frozen and it's just nuked in the microwave uh, and it manages to maintain texture, especially when it comes to rice, spaghetti, you know, pasta in general. can be a bit iffy done in the microwave from frozen. Enough said. Happy days. You take care of yourself, as always. Please do consider giving the uh, the video a thumbs up. And of course, I will see you very soon. Hello, my loves. It's Monday night and the last night of this particular meals vlog. Ian and I were right in the mood for stovetop sausage casserole. Especially because, even though I've been saying it for the last two weeks and haven't done it, today I actually fasted. So I've not had anything since supper last night. And it's now 20 past 7 p.m. And I'm ravenous. So I made this. I'll whack the recipe up there from the stovetop sausage casserole. It's dead simple and really hearty and beautiful. I usually do it with Linda McCartney original sausages. This time I've done it with um, Green Cuisine Lincolnshire style ones that I got cheap from Heron not too long ago. I also had uh, much of a bag of rocket left from you know a couple of nights ago when we had it on our pasta um so i've chopped it up in the mash so it's rocket mash and stove top sausage casserole and a couple of slices of bread and butter and jay's just halfway through editing this vlog yes waiting yes. for this is the final segment this is the final segment i'll say two things i'll say one linda mccartney pies deep filled country pies what's happened to them Drop a note in the comments down below. Can you get them anywhere where you live? In Can the you UK? get any vegan pies? <laughs> yeah. And the second thing I will ask, of course, um, I asked it on my lunchtime taste test, but I'll say again, just a quick reminder, if you could give the Meals Vlog a thumbs up, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. He's not wrong, Barbara. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so, we end the week on a TVG classic, stovetop sausage casserole, a merged perturna mm. with rocket. I'm just going to gaze at it longingly for a while and tease myself a bit more. And then I'm going to smash it in my face. <laughs> Bye, loves. <laughs>